The Pascagoula Police Department is getting real about virtual training. For about a week now, officers have been testing the waters in believable make-believe. So they are even more prepared to handle real-world scenarios with the emphasis on de-escalation. As Mike Lacey reports, it's good for police and it's good for the community. This is Officer Anthony Vale's initial attempt at virtual reality training. His first assignment, to deal with an intoxicated woman in a grocery store. I am a little intoxicated today. The new virtual reality training simulator places the officer in a real-life situation. You under arrest for public drunk? It felt real, as real can get. The Apex Officer Simulator has about 15 to 20 environments. You can see you have an alley, you have a city. You have a correctional facility, you have an apartment, city park, abandoned factory. With endless scenarios. You can deal with subjects uh, with mental illness. You can deal with intoxicated subjects. You can do domestic violence. You can do traffic stops. That will be a situation on which training coordinator Captain Chris Weeks will concentrate. Traffic stops are one of the things that officers do more than anything. And de-escalation is a top priority. And that's, that's one of the main things of why we bought the equipment in the first place, is these officers can practice these de-escalation techniques here in a safe environment, safe for them, safe for the citizens. And it's training that Vail says is needed especially for the young officers. You're going to have adrenaline rushes, especially with stuff you've never dealt with before. This puts them in those situations. That way, when they actually do encounter these in the real world, it keeps them calm. They know how to react. They don't overreact, do something they shouldn't. The ongoing training will eventually involve every officer in the department. In Pascagoula, Mike Lacey, WLOX News Now. The training program was funded by money seized by the Narcotics Task Force.